Okay, so I wanted to explain a little bit more about if we have eight levels in our uh, for the quantization of the amplitude of the speech signal, why we describe that as um, a quantization rate of three bits or a bit depth of three bits. And um, I said this has to do with the numbers storing information ones and zeros. So let's um, talk a little bit more about how that comes about. Um, Okay, so first as a reminder, um, I want to uh, remind you what it means when we write down um, numbers like, let's say, 354, what that means. So um, um, just as a quick reminder, first of all, for powers, if we have 10 to the third, um, that's 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So you can see I've taken 10 three times there. Um, and 10 to the second is 10 times 10 equals 100. And 10 to the first is just 10 taken once, which is 10. And 10 to the zeroth is uh, 1. And so that's just a quick reminder. And so then Again, if we have the number 354, actually, uh, that's a shorthand um, because, uh, let me give us a little more room there. Um, shorthand, because 354, um, what that really means is here we have a 4 in the slot corresponding to 10 to the 0, a 5 in the slot corresponding to 10 to the 1st, and a 3 in the slot corresponding to 10 to the second. And so um, 354, what that really is, is um, it's equal to 3 times 10 to the second. So that's from our 3 in the 10 to the second slot, um, plus 5 times 10 to the first from our 5 in the 10 to the 1st slot, plus 4 times 10 to the 0th from our 4 in the 10 to the 0th slot here. Or, in other words, that's just 3 times 100 plus 5 times 10 plus 4 times 1 all together, which is 300 plus 50 plus 4 equals 354. So that's how we, in our decimal system, which is base 10, um, that's, you know, how we represent numbers. Now, but I just told you that in the computer, we represent numbers with ones and zeros. So um, that's a binary system, or uh, base 2. Oops, base 2. Yeah. So, okay, so then um, coming back to that question of why if we have eight levels that corresponds to three bits, that's because we're working in binary. And so in binary, um, here I'll have uh, a slot for two to the zeroth and a slot for two to the first and two to the second, two to the third, and so forth. And so um, if I have a zero here in 2 to the zeroth, um, that would be 0 times 2 to the zeroth, or 0 times 1, which is 0. And if I have a 1 here, that would just be 1 times 2 to the zeroth, that is 1 times 1, equals 1. And now if I have uh, also, let's say I have a 1 in the 2 to the 1st slot, but a 0 in the 2 to the 0 slot, well, that would just be 1 times 2 to the 1st, um, and that would be, in other words, 2. And, uh, all right, if I have a 1 in the 2 to the 1st slot and a 1 in the 2 to the 0 slot, that would be 1 times 2 to the 1st plus 1 times 2 to the 0 equals 3. And if I have um, 1, 0, 0, 
where now I have a 1 in the 2 to the second slot, that'd be 1 times 2 to the second equals 4. I could then get 5 by putting a 1 in the 2 to the second slot and a 1 in the 2 to the 0 slot and then a 0 here in the 2 to the first slot. So that's 5. And to get 6, I could do this, 1 in the 2 to the second slot and then 1 in the 2 to the first slot and a 0 here in the 2 to the 0 slot. And 7, finally, 7 I get by doing um, having 1's in each of the slots for 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 1st, and a 2 to the 0. And as a reminder then, that would be 1 times 2 to the 2nd plus 1 times 2 to the 1st plus 1 times 2 to the 0th. And so you can see, why do we have 8 levels corresponding to 3 bits? Well here I've just given you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 levels and it's taken us three slots to do it. And so that's, yeah, so that's why we, we need three bits in order to represent eight levels because um, we have our binary system here. And so, so yeah, that's why um, we have eight levels being described as three bits for the quantization rate.